Today I'm going to show you a few of my new favorite features in the 20.8 FL Studio update. You get me! So the biggest update and the one that stands out the most is this new plugin called Frequency Splitter. What's really cool about this is that you can split your signal into two or three frequency bands. In the bottom left you can turn the linear phase mode on to avoid any phasing issues. You can see if we move each band here we can change the size and the range of each frequency band. You can also adjust the level of each band by turning one of these three knobs in the middle for the low, mid, or high frequencies. Now if we come to the left side of the plugin again, we can adjust the slope of each frequency band. We can make it harsh or more smooth. 6 dB is the smoothest and 96 dB is the most harsh. Now if we click this button right here, we can enable the histogram and the heat map. I think it's really cool that you can have these both showing at the same time. It gives a really nice and clean visual, and it helps you understand a little bit more of what you're doing to the sound. The Parametric EQ2 got a major update as well. Just like the Frequency Splitter, we can change the view between the histogram, the heat map, or a combination of both. Another new feature in the Parametric EQ2 is this Mute and Solo option in the bottom right hand corner. By turning these on and off, you can solo or mute each frequency band individually. Also, if we choose this bandpass option right here, and we hold shift and click one of the frequency bands, we can solo them out and reference them. The Parametric EQ2 also has linear phase mode to cut down on phasing and a high quality for downsampling. FL Studio now has its own stock tuner. This is great for one shots, vocal samples, and if you're trying to tune an instrument like a guitar, this is awesome. We can now merge automation clips. If you have multiple automation clips and you want to merge them, all you have to do is highlight both, go to the top left corner, go to edit, and merge automation clips. One of the coolest new features is glitch-free plugin opening. Just open up a plugin like you normally do while the song is playing and you'll see that there is no glitching. The music does not stop. Even with a CPU heavy plugin like Omnisphere, there is no glitching. Let's try it on Flex too, just to see. Really awesome feature. If you've ever wanted to completely delete an automation and you had to go to the browser before, you don't have to do that anymore. All you have to do is right click on the knob, select delete initial value. And lastly, we can change the shape of all these buttons, make them look a little bit more sleek and modern by right clicking up in the top menu bar and select flat button. And that's going to wrap it up. Those were my favorite features in the new update. Comment down below and let me know your favorite features in this new update. If you want me to touch on any more, let me know in the comments and I'll make another video. And make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.